Meghan trembles. Most dreaded biographer swears to expose real Meghan, sets his sights on her ambition. Britain's most feared biographer is racing to complete his bombshell book on the Duchess of Sussex, vowing that it will tell the truth about her life. Investigative journalist Tom Bauer has reportedly signed a six-figure advance to pin an unauthorized account. And the 74-year-old writer has confirmed his hard-hitting book is well underway, having researched his subject for a year and speaking to friends, foes and associates of Meghan and Prince Harry. Tom Bauer has set his sights on a book about the Duchess of Sussex, as sources fear it could drive a wedge between her and the rest of the royal family. He said, I'm writing it now. It will tell the truth when it comes out next year. Two years ago we were the first newspaper to report that the biographer was planning a book on the Duchess. He told the Sunday Express, it is in the offing, I can't deny that. And now, he really wrote it. Sources close to Meghan and Harry fear that an unapologetic tale of her rise to fame and the royal family could create a divide between them and the other royals. Meanwhile, last week it was reported Harry and his American-born wife plan to write four books as part of a lucrative £29 million deal with U.S. publishers Penguin Random House, a move Mr. Bauer described as certain to damage the royal family. Harry has come under fire for collaborating with celebrity ghostwriter Junior Moringa on what his publishers have described as the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses and life lessons that have helped shape him. Mr. Bauer claimed, the only way that Harry can earn money and justify the advance, and the only thing that the American publishers will be happy with, is if he is very critical of the royal family. It will be damaging for them and that is a tragedy. They said the idea would be making the Duchess very anxious and likened it to an executioner sharpening their axe. It comes after Harry launched a ferocious attack on the press, claiming his wife is being subjected to the same powerful forces his mother Diana had to contend with before her death. The couple are also taking legal action against the son and now defunct news of the world over phone hacking allegations. Mr. Bauer said she doesn't deserve privacy, adding, She's on public display and when you're on public display 24-7 there has to be a certain way of behaving. He said in a separate interview, Harry is a decent sort of bloke, but he's easily influenced. At the same time he's married a woman who is determined and very ambitious. Harry's book is described by Harry as being a wholly truthful first-hand account of his life. But royal aides are worried that it will prove to be a highly biased account of the 36-year-old prince's experiences and only serve to further heighten tensions with his estranged relatives. Meghan is also set to pin a wellness guide as part of the Random House contract. Among Mr. Bauer's unauthorized biographies are, Dangerous Hero, Corbin's Ruthless Plot for Power on the Labour Leader, and Broken Vows, Tony Blair and the Tragedy of Power. His take on Meghan's father-in-law Prince Charles was that he is jealous of his son's popularity and out of touch. In another development, it was revealed that an updated version of Finding Freedom, by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Rand, will be released on the anniversary of Princess Diana's death, August 31. The book, which gives a behind-the-scenes account of Meghan and Harry's life, will now feature a section detailing their heartbreak following the death of Prince Philip in April. The new section will also recount Meghan's emotional healing journey from losing a child to the birth of their daughter and will detail the couple's relocation to California, according to publisher HarperCollins. The couple have long denied personally cooperating with Scobie and Rand. But the writers have boasted of having unique access and the participation of those closest to the couple. Diana's private voice and presence coach, Stuart Pierce said that absolutely and unquestionably Diana had been ready to write her own memoir before she died, been ready